So let's try this out. <laughs> so I got this weird commission from someone named Jon Snow. The Swedish maker. You are the man. I need you to build me a chair made from birch plywood. I want it to be beautiful and strong and stylish. I'll pay you three dragons. I need it done in two days. Cheers. I guess I can do that. I've always wanted to make a chair and now that I have the X-Carve, it's a great opportunity to try it out and make a chair. So I drew up a chair in Fusion 360. The chair is designed for 18 mm plywood and it consists of 16 different pieces. And that's going to take a while to cut out. Are you like me, standing around your CNC watching so that it doesn't blow up when it's running? It's also quite paralyzing and I get stuck looking at it. But it isn't very effective. And today I'm going to change that, but more on that later. I imported all my files into Easel and in Easel I could go ahead and put all the pieces on five different pages to be cut out. A good tip here is to use the Arrange feature in Fusion 360 and it'll help you by putting all of the pieces you want cut onto the sheet. And then you can see how many sheets you need for the actual project. I am also setting the cut depth, tabs, bit size and feed rates and everything else in Easel. And when I'm ready, I can start cutting it out. So this took me around six hours to cut out. And I think I might have been able to go even faster. But this was only the prototype. As you can see, it's made out of MDF. And I have a lot of things I wanna change with it. And that's also the reason I made it in MDF because MDF is so much cheaper than birch plywood. So I didn't even fully finish the prototype because I could already see the mistakes I'd made. Well, it seems to hold up, but the shape is a bit off and there are some other things I need to change. So back to the computer uh, for a second version. Okay, so I've redesigned the chair and I managed to get the size down to be exactly half a sheet of plywood, which is perfectly good because you could make two chairs from one sheet of plywood. That's very basic math that I know you can do yourself, so I don't know why I said that. So one of the changes I did was that I decreased the depth of the seat because it was too deep. And I also scrapped the double layered seat. And instead I'm going to have the seat go all the way out to the edge. That way there's not going to be a buildup of dust in the gap between the seat and the legs. And I also changed the angle of the back leg a bit. And I also raised the seat rest a bit to better fit the back. So here's how I'm going to speed the next chair up. I'm not going to cut all the way through the plywood for a couple of reasons. I don't want to leave a lot of marks on my wasteboard and by not cutting all the way through I'm saving that. I can then use a flush trim bit to remove the last piece of material and that way I'm also saving time because I can do this when the CNC is still working with the next piece. That also means I don't have to worry about removing any imperfections from the tabs. So with all of the changes done, I can go ahead and start working with plywood.
I also had a bunch of holes cut on the CNC for aligning the pieces when I'm gluing them together. And the holes are eight millimeters, which is the same size dowel I'm using. So let's just glue everything together. Now there's one piece that I didn't cut on the CNC and that is the support piece for the back of the chair. And the reason I didn't cut that on the CNC is because it has an angle that would be a lot harder to cut on the CNC and a lot easier to do on the table saw. The legs are glued together, but to be able to drill the holes for the dowels on the stretchers, I actually went ahead and made some 3D printed jigs for that. And these are going to help me align it. So there's one piece that goes onto the leg piece and then another piece that goes onto the stretcher. The project is uploaded to Inventables projects and you can use the exact same files as I did. But if you want to modify it, I have also uploaded a bundle to my website with all the files necessary to make changes. Consider this an open source project where you can modify and do changes all you want. And if you make a version, send me a DM over on Instagram because I would love to see it. Yes, <laughs> that is actually really good. It's comfy and 
it seems really solid as well. I really like the finish from the Rubio white cotton on plywood. It looks awesome. Well, that's about it for this project. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi, John. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, the chair chipped out yesterday, so you should have it today. Cheers. Cool. So, yeah, I just wanted to ask you uh, about, about uh, the payment. Hello? Hello? John? That's weird.